You can get every announcement that you need at ccfv.life. Um, and so if you go there, you can see what's going on. But just a couple of things. We're going to have next Saturday a baptism and fellowship. Um, if you are interested in being baptized, if you'll sign up in the back or sign up at ccfv.life so that we would have a record of that, that would be great. You can get information as to where it's going to be. So please be a part of that. Come and be a part of the baptism. Um, and especially if you want to be baptized, that Pastor Rick will know uh, who that is um, and the fellowship as well. And then um, New Men's uh, Life Group is starting up. Uh, you can get some information and books out uh, in the foyer there. Um, great stuff is going on in the men's ministry and the women's ministry, and we would ask that you uh, get connected and be a part of that as well. Uh, there's a women's um, retreat planning meeting coming up on the 24th, which is next Sunday. And so um, that retreat is coming up, and we need you guys to be a part to uh, um, plan that now so that the women will have a little bit of what the men got at their retreat. That didn't even raise any hackles there. What the heck? I know you did. Wow. Okay. Um, also, next week will be a praise and prayer night. If you've not been to one of those, just encourage you to come because it's a great time of getting together and praising and, and um, uh, prayer towards the Lord. You know, all your uh, issues that are on your heart, we get a chance to pray for, and that's such a blessing. I want to now take you to Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7, and it says this. The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. This is Father's Day, in case you didn't know. So I want to say happy Father's Day, but I'm going to share a little testimony, um, which we don't normally do. For years, my son um, took a different path. You know, he walked down a path that quite honestly, number one, I didn't want him to walk down, but just grieved my heart. A lot of uh, trauma in our life, and um, he just went down a, a pathway that was real difficult. And um, there were times when I would just go before the Lord and say, what in the world do you want me to do? I can't do it anymore. And there was a time when I literally, I mean, I never gave up, but I, I was just struggling. Um, Deb and I had difficult time, you know, dealing with all this stuff. And through tremendous amount of prayer, because God called us to be prayer warriors, we've seen something that is just phenomenal. And so this morning, you fathers, you know, there are some of you that are dealing with sons or even daughters that are dealing with drug addiction, alcohol addiction. You're dealing with illnesses that are just breaking your heart. We're dealing with, as parents or fathers, uh, marriages that are falling apart with our children. And we're seeing grandchildren do things that we don't want them. Some of you uh, fathers are about to see your children go off to college or are in college. And, you know, if you have not seen some of the curriculum that's out there in colleges, uh, we better be in prayer. And I want to encourage you to be prayer warriors for your children. We need to be on our knees as fathers, as men of God. And as the scripture says, the righteous man walks in his integrity. In order for us to have integrity, we need to be righteous before the Lord. How do we do that? We are obedient. We do the things that God calls us to do. If you do it the world's way, you're in trouble. If you do it God's way, you're going to have an impact on your children, on your sons, on your daughters, on your family. That's beyond anything that you can imagine. And then it says, his children are blessed after him. If we want our children to be blessed as children of God, of men of God, we need to be those men that stand strong for Jesus Christ. And so, men, fathers, I want you to stand and we're going to pray over you. And I want you to understand the importance of who you are as God has called you to be. You're a man of God. You need to be righteous. You need to be a person full of integrity. And your children will follow after you. 
And so on this Father's Day, don't forget God the Father as you pray. But we want to pray over you. And since I'm a father, we get to have my beautiful wife pray over us because it's important for all of us to be prayed over. Amen? Amen. So Deb, if you will. Let's bow together. Heavenly Father, we are so blessed, Lord, that you have given us uh, an example, Father, of, of what a father is to look like, what it looks like to die to ourselves, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord, for that. Thank you for um, your grace and your mercy and for how you show it to us each morning, Lord. I just thank you for these men um, in this church, Lord, that are striving to be the father that they should be, a father like you are, Lord. I pray, Lord, that, that you would give them hearts like your heart, Lord. I pray that you'd give them wisdom and discernment. I pray that you'd give them a heart of compassion like yours, Lord, a heart that sees, Lord, into the hearts of those that that you've put them uh, in charge over, Lord, and to be able to love like you love, to be able to give of themselves like you gave of yourself, Lord. I pray also that you would encourage them, Lord, in whatever place they're at, um, whatever place their children are at, Lord, that you would help them to know, Lord, that you always are in control. You're sovereign and you have a plan, Lord, that you're in the midst of for each and every child that we love so much. I pray also just for an anointing over them, Lord, that they would um, be in that place, Lord, where they would listen, Lord, to you, that they would take the time to hear your voice and to know your direction. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, one last thing. My son um, found Jesus. And uh, one day, one day he had come over to my house and when he was going through his dark stuff, and he said, wow, when I'm in your house, it's very dark. I mean, very, it's full of light. When I'm in the world, it's so dark out there. And this morning he sent me this, and I'm not reading it all because you might think that I'm something and I'm not. It says, I love you very much and respect you so much. Your constant support of your children has changed my life. That, gentlemen, is what we're striving to be and to do. Amen? Amen. So if everybody will stand, we'll go.